Welcome, my name is Mary Wekesa. The government has revoked a gazette notice issued on the 7th of November that revised rates for government fees sparking a public outcry. It has published a new notice making changes to the charges, reducing new identification card application fees to 300 from 1,000 Kenyan shillings. As for children born outside the country from a million to 750,000 Kenyan shillings. Our reporter Elizabeth Kisiangani kicks off our today's bulletin with that story. Government revoked a 17th November Gazette notice on fees changes where the levies and other fees of critical documents such as IDs, passports, birth certificates and marriage certificates among others were to be increased as the court was to mention the matter to confirm compliance over the key changes. Interior CS Professor Kidhure Kindiki during yesterday revoked the changes relating the upward revision of charges on services as the fresh charges for citizenship Kenyan children born outside Kenya have shot up from 1 million to 750,000 shillings. Charges for 66 pages that was raised up to 12,500 from 7,500 shillings remains the same as a 50-page passport to cost 9,500 from 6,000 shillings. Replacement of a lost passport to cost 20,000 shillings from 12,000 shillings also remains the same as registration of IDs that was placed at 1,000 shillings is now 300 shillings. Replacement of an ID card that went up to 2,000 shillings from 100 shillings is now to cost 1,000 shillings. Registration of birth certificates that was raised to 200 shillings from 50 remains the same and registration of death certificates that shot to 200 shillings from 50 shillings also remains the same as some of the residents show up their reactions. In a school radio, Rais Wetu, umesikia wito ya wananchi, walivolia katika mwaka kitambulizo, ulikuwa mpeleka jibu sana. Kanevisha ikipotea, ilikuwa singi alifu. Mwena kuchukua, ilikuwa singi alifu. Thinki moja. Sasa, umerudizi kitambulizo, wanasema ukisema uneapply, miya tatu. Kitambulisho ndakana ubusha shingi ya msini, pati kama ya zamani. Na pasa adifika mpia, hiyo mambo, kwa kari kupia watu ya zamani. Kwa watu wa wanapesa, kwa watu wa wanangangana. Kusema kulebisha, sioni kama inaingia. Kindiki stated that new changes are to take effect on the 1st of January 2024 as the State Department for Immigration and Citizen Services has been directed to conduct a complete public participation as soon as possible but not later than 10th of December. Reporting for Tandao News Outlook, I'm Elizabeth Kisiangani.